Hey y'all, this is Sherry, the Posh Paper Lady. I am participating in my very first ever loaded envelope swap. My swap partner is Marilyn from Marilyn Diaz Designs, and our theme was Halloween. I decided to theme my envelope, Welcome to the Witch's Ball. I chose to go with a very neutral color palette, oranges, browns, and creams. I also chose to go with a very subdued pattern palette of plaids, polka dots, and stripes. Here's how the envelope looks from the front, and then here's how it looks from the back. I'm very pleased with how it turned out, and I had fun making all of the items that I put in it. Let's take a closer look. So on the front, we have the obligatory black cat. I made a polka dot rosette with a trick-or-treat cutout sticker. And then I added some tickets to the ball. In the first pocket, I have a witch's envelope that I stuffed with Halloween cutouts. And in the second pocket, I created a one hour parking pass for the witch's broom. And I made that from chipboard and I made the broom from twine and barbecue skewers. And then I created some paper bows so the witch can bling out her hat if she wants. And I think those turned out really cute. I also made some paper flowers in coordinating colors. And then of course the witch has to have a wand. I found this really cute pin, but it looks like a wand to me and I think it is absolutely adorable. So in the large pocket of my envelope, I chose to decorate it using some chipboard cutouts, some twine, buttons, and then some more of those um, Halloween tickets. And I used a Fright Night sticker to hold those down. In the large pocket, I have two tags. I have a very large tag, slash wand, whatever you want it to be. And then I have my jumbo tag, which is actually going to be a ticket tag. I used some ticket themed paper, added some twine and a button. And then on the back side, I included a cute little pumpkin. And inside of that large pocket, I also included some decor decorative paper clips. And I also included three by three note cards with coordinating envelopes. My loaded envelope is a three pocket envelope made from one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And on the back side, we have another one of the large wands slash tags mounted on a popsicle stick. And then I added a ticket to serve as the holder for the tag. And then I also included just a cute little Ghost and Goblins chipboard sticker. And this is my inspiration piece. I found this picture online of an old witch's carnival and I thought I'd theme it around that. So on the inside, I decided I would create an actual invitation to the ball. And um, I just thought it was so cute. And then I included three tickets so the witch can bring a couple along, bring along a couple of her friends if she so chooses. So let's take a moment and put this all back together. And like I said, um, this was a time of many firsts for me. This is actually my first ever loaded envelope, my first ever swap, and I am fairly new to YouTube. So I tried making this video several times and I could never ever get my voice to match what I was actually doing. So I decided to do this as a voiceover. 
and I hope it hasn't been too confusing for you guys. Um, it was just easier for me to do it that way. And here I am putting the envelope back together. I'm trying to get everything um, reloaded as pretty as possible. I had a great deal of fun making this. Um, and I love the whole concept of loaded envelopes. And I hope to participate in more swaps. I hope you guys have liked what I've done here. Um, I really put my heart into it. So I'm stuffing everything back into the loaded envelope and I am getting it ready for shipping. The swap was actually created and coordinated by, Mira, by Dina from Crafty Crafts by Dina. And I wanted to make sure that I gave her a big shout out because she was so sweet to do this and, and just so encouraging for all of us. Okay, so there we have it. We're gonna set that to the side for a minute because I took a lot of time to make this. I wanted to make sure that I shipped it in a way that would minimize the possibility of it being damaged in transit. So I created an exterior box for it. It's a five panel box that I made from chipboard using um, some chandelier paper on the inside and more of that Halloween themed paper on the outside. I have a little slot on the inside that the envelope actually slides right into. I use the invitation on the back side as the anchor piece for sliding it into the slot. There. Now that's going to stay put. And then I do a fold over and I am going to add the box bottom. Get it in there nice and snug. And now it's time for the box top. And this box works well for a whole multitude of things that um, I like to create. And then I am going to tie a bow to hold it all together. And this box is going to be pretty sturdy. And I think it's just a cute way to present my item. And for me, um, presentation is very important. So there we have it. My first ever loaded envelope, complete and ready to go. I hope my SWAT partner really enjoys it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please leave feedback below. And I would love to have you subscribe Thank you.